Brody Grundy. My check had a couple to beat Ginnivan in a good spot. Around the body ball, could bounce through, it does! Crisp to half forward. McCreary out the back, but Ginnivan and he's out the back. And Tonight, Jack Ginnivan. He now has two. That's big. Much to the delight of the Collingwood fans who rise as he kicks to McCreary at half forward. Two goals under his belt. Can he get a third? No, he wants to share it with Ginnivan. Good drama here at the MCG. Going to get a second shot at goal here, Duck. It's one of those rare situations. Play on! As he slotted it through, he has. So the Pies get two goals in 30 seconds. Got one, Jack Ginnivan already. Now he's got two. Throw in back towards the centre of goal. Draper, the double-handed knockdown. Hoskin Elliott, Martin, Denivan, got it. He's got three. He's going to have to absolutely flush it from here. Play on. Bit of an arc. Oh, yeah. That is superb. And the celebration to follow. Can't mark McCreary at Lipinski. Nice little step. Oh, pressure down there grows, though. Gennivan. Have they got a Sunday special to go with Anzac Day? Oh, so special! <laughs> it's getting better and better for Jack! That's a great individual effort. Jack Gennivan, that is a great individual Big. Ginevan. Oh, it might have gone through otherwise, but he's taken the mark. I'm sort of pick up back to Henry across to Ginevan. Collingwood lining up, but he had his head just about ripped off by Chapman. And another set shot coming up for the Magpie. 13 goals across his last four games. Jack Ginevan this last week with illness. And he's been such a handy goal scorer for the Magpies. And they are bringing the heat in this second term. Just giving nothing away. And side bottom. Tumbles the ball back. And two dockers collide. Lowe took out Collier. Allows Collingwood in again with a high ball. A big barrel. Get him out the back. He'll take it. He'll waltz away. And with all the flair in the world, he'll celebrate early. And bang it up into the second tier. Collingwood are on their way. And the young man is enjoying every second of it. Ginnivan leads to the pocket, and the second lead for a little holding free. Nerves has never really been a thing for me. Wow. wow. How's oh. that? <laughs> for a kid with some class. Ball to the superlative here in uh, Pendlebury. The little low ball, my attack. Off hands. Elliott didn't get all of the handball. Put Ginnivan under pressure. Snap, though, is good. Collingwood get there first. Plays on there, found the corridor. Tom Green's got to work hard. Hoskin Elliott, brilliant interception job. Now to Penelbury, little low ball, Ginnivan. For Ballard, left it behind, disappointing. Collins, handball towards Wits, too hot for him. Ginnivan doesn't miss. Too often, on the left, threads it through the middle, out the tongue. He's onto the ball, squeezes a kick to the pocket. Ginnivan again. Already produced one clever finish. Ginnivan, bending ball, <laughs> makes it look effortless. To number 15. Markov has to go back. Ginnivan! Side on is the style of execution for Ginnivan. Doesn't matter what he does. Looking for my check. This is um, the debutante picking it up. Johnson feeding it and eventually it works its way to Ginnivan in the pocket with the rain tumbling. The peroxide blonde hair in his eyes. Off a couple of steps. He's all class, Jack Ginnivan. He was never going to miss that one. And there is the quick run. From Crisp, who receives it on the other end now. Crisp to Pendlebury. Wants to use Crisp again. He's been involved three times. 
In the chain, Alia though, drops back into the pack, drops the mark, Ginnivan, the Collingwood crowd rise when he's anywhere near the football. And that's the one the Pies needed. Elliot gets a hand to it, brings it to ground. Elliot with speed and aggression gets through to Ginnivan, loves a goal. Pies fans love him. Collingwood have kicked four in a row. Well, this is Jack Ginnivan's loss, but he knows how to silence them. Unaffected delivery. Pinsky now waiting for something to happen. McCreary. So they inch the ball forward here, the Pies. McCreary reels and goes now. It's a two on one. As Johnson didn't quite get the run. Ginnivan at the back. Left foot over the shoulder. Got it. Pies have got three to open the first quarter. Zagged. Boskin Elliott. Great hands. Low level. Ginnivan. Deep in the pocket. 45 metre kick. They rise. They love it. Pendlebury. Maynard and now Dacos. Ginnivan. Can the little man ignite the pies? The pies have got the numbers and the run. Lobb does the chasing towards half forward. Mason Cox. Wedged between a couple of dockers, had the height advantage, normally does. Deep ball, Meyer check, Ginnivan, there'll be some noise, kicks it, puts it in the back of the net, pies her away. Long ball, Lobb needed to take the mark, didn't Ginnivan, how clever is he? So, so brilliant. They get their seventh, he gets his second. Inclusion. For Taylor Adams. And Ash Johnson. Such a unique player, Johnson. <laughs> Speaking of unique. Justin Longmuir knowing that the spinal slipped away. And have a listen to that. Now it links up through Bianco to Pendlebury. Ginnivan's the target. He gets it. Down. He'll go back and shoot Jack Ginnivan. Bit of a stutter step, got really close to the man on the mark, and then he struck it magnificently. Kicked it 12 rows back. The Pies fans are up. That was, was out of bounds. That was out. that was out of bounds. That was out of bounds. That was out of bounds. Can't be. It 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 can't be. It